Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was nice. It's definitely better than when I walked in. I hold a lot of tension up in my uh, shoulders and neck. Currently, I have this one spot right here on my shoulder. Yeah. They, I was told it might be a muscle, but it's literally right here and it's on both sides. Okay. Um, I got in an accident, a car accident a year ago. Like, I actually went to physical therapy for like maybe five, six months. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they told me that I have um, this weird thing with my ribs where like it's very rare. Like it's basically they're pushed in. Aside from that, when I was 17, I actually had my first concussion. So I've actually sustained three concussions in my whole life. Um, but that when I was 17, I went sledding. And I hit my entire spine, the back of my neck, and the back of my head on a metal pole. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really what started my body pain. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Uh, I was 17 then. Okay. I'm 25 now. I have uh, a lot of pain in my back usually. It's usually my lower back. My mid back's usually okay. Yeah, uh, the only time I would say I do is like right here. Because I think that this side sticks out more than this side does. Right. When I'm sleeping, sometimes I can't lay on my left side because it feels like it's jabbing me mm -hmm. have three concussions my i would say like i said all of my tension and like pain is definitely in my upper shoulder back neck area do you get headaches a lot week. yeah a couple times a week i do have i was medicated for migraines like i have consistent migraines there's nothing i can do about that they just told me since i was staying so much head trauma like it's kind of like i'm prone to migraines but i usually feel it like in my temples or like in the back of my head it's like usually all this okay how much water do you drink I'd say i take i'll drink a, if i'm lucky i'll drink at least a bottle or two of water i'm not hydrated properly okay what are you gonna do uh, i'm just gonna keep I doing that yeah. tell me about the gi stuff is it slow fast just um bloaty so i have told i have ibsc but uh -huh. i also know that that's associated with stress it's more so i need to Figure out how to not be stressed. Yeah. So my body can just relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like the biggest issue. It's more so ever since this accident, really, it just taught me to like let go of all. I used to have a lot of anger and resentment in life, and then I let all of that go. So it's more so like trusting myself because I used to have a lot of like self issues, self confidence issues, and I feel like from that, I feel like I've just gained a lot of confidence with myself to trust my gut and my like brain to like know I'm making the right decisions and I'm not making mistakes. All right, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Maybe a slight eversion on each side, but bilateral and maybe slightly more on the right, eversion of the foot. Good, from the knee down, I don't see any genuvalgum, no genuvarum, no knock knee, no bow leggedness, it looks Somewhat symmetrical, the left hip is swinging internally. Looking at the hip swing, you can definitely see that left hip moves outward, more lateral out to the left versus the right. So there's like a hitch, it's like a, one of these. All right, looking at the shoulder height, we've got a high left whole shoulder. Can't tell the mass story from here, but probably, I can't tell. Go ahead, move, can you move your hair off your ears? High left mastoid. High left shoulder, high right mastoid. Maybe a high left hip. That's good stuff right there. Feet okay? Okay. All right, checking the arches here. No decrease there. Turn around, face the other way. Good. And then no bowing of the Achilles tendon either. No bowing there, so no pronation. High left hip. High left hip, high left shoulder. Okay, I'm going to start with a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. It definitely changes in the lumbar spine here and becomes very cold and moist. It's warm here and symmetrical on both sides. This is like very top of the scapula where the muscles are the most active. These trap muscles, rhomboids, levator scapula. All these neck shoulder muscles are on fire right now. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely some muscular things happening up here and where what you described earlier where it hurt on the outside edge of your yeah, shoulder blade. Yeah, it's literally right where you're at, yep. Mm. So this is a rib. Yeah. 
They told me that it was a rib. Is it like that on this side? See, it is, but it's not as intense yeah. as it is on the left side. Like, it's... that spot right where you're at, yeah. that's where I'm always in pain. And I couldn't tell if it's a pinched nerve or if it's a mm. muscle spasm. Mm. But I have, like, shooting pain that, like, trails down my back and up my shoulder okay. from that spot. Okay, very good. I mean, you, you have rib torque, so your entire rib cage needs to be adjusted. Yeah. You have a high left shoulder, so that means your rib cage is torqued up this way. We're going to turn it back down this you're way. You're telling me my ribs went like this? Yeah, they're like that. That's kind of crazy. Which one sticks out more? The left. Yeah, so so it's like this and this. Yeah. I'm push a little bit deeper into the spine. Okay, I'm gonna side joints here. Left, right, these feel the same, left, right. The right feels more aggressive to me. Okay, lower SI. Right, left. They feel about the same. Okay. L5, not too bad, that's nice and bouncy, moving, good. Good, open, close, open. Close. One more open. Close. There's more movement on the right side here. You can even see on your dermals here how the one is higher than the other. Because mm -hmm. it did they they marked them on the dimples of your SI joints, but yeah, it's very dry in this area, and then it's more, it becomes more moist down here. So this changes in the parasympathetic nervous system. The first thing you're gonna feel is my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? All right, sliding up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the left, which does match the high left hip. Good, and then looking from the top, that looks even. There's no internal or external rotations there. Gotta see this, I'm trying to face that like this. Did you just whistle? I did. Okay, nice and gentle. There's no curvatures here. The rib cage is elevated on the left side versus the right, but not with a curvature. It's the rib cage has torque on stem. Okay, looking for postural sway. A little bit front left there. I was gonna say I didn't warn you this, but I'm also very off balance. <laughs> okay. Happens a lot with neck complaints, headaches, another lateral. Sway. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? No. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Slightly. Tender? A little bit. Tender? Yeah. Tender? A little bit. Tender? Yeah. L5. Good. Tender? Discomfort? A mm, little bit. Pressure? Like I said, I can just feel it on my core. Okay, front still. Same there? No, I can feel that in my back. How about here? That's still on my core, yeah. All right, let's do this. Lift your right leg up in the air. Like that? Yeah, down. Left. Down. Which one was more difficult? Uh, I think that... Do it again. Down. I think it's the right one. One more time, right? Go down. Terrible? Yeah, always. <sighs> Okay, so we come down to the first coccyx segment here. First, we'll check the left. Tenderness? Mm, a little bit. Tender? Yeah. Tender? A little bit. Tender? No. Here's the most, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to contact this fiber. There's a lot of nerves here, so we can activate the reflex. I'm going to contact the occiput at the top.
Okay, recheck. Still tender? No. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild, right? How about this one up here? Is this one still tender? Yeah. Okay. It's usually because we have to adjust the occiput. but we'll be gentle in this area here because we don't really need to beat the crap out of this. This just needs a really good adjustment in the thoracic spine, the ribs, and then the rib torque. That'll help that immensely. All right, nice gentle breathing. The cornerstone of all shamanic practices is intention. Setting an intention. And intentions are most vital in the current moment. So if you have any intentions you'd like to set silently. The intention for today is simple. We're gonna help you out with this rib stuff, these headaches, back pain, no problem. Chiropractic, piece of cake. But if you have any other deeper intentions for yourself,
Nice gentle breathing. All right, we're gonna start right in the middle, okay? Let's do, let's practice one so I can feel your spine while you're breathing. You're gonna take a deep breath in, and it out. Go ahead, I'm gonna follow your breath down like this, and at the end, we'll give it a little push. Good. Following the breath. Good, Shut. gentle, gentle. I felt that one. Okay, one more time, breathing, sinking. Good, letting it all sink, 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 sink in. This is just surface stuff. It's, it's, there's still more even deeper. Okay, nice and gentle. Good. Oh, nice. All right, this is how we check the lumbar spine. Right or left, which is more tender. It's the right side. Left, right, left, left right. Because that means this segment here is going to the left and superior. Okay, that means we're gonna do a counterclockwise correction. Nice, gentle breathing. We're gonna come up just a little bit like that. Okay, you're breathing. As you breathe out, we're gonna bring your shoulders in this direction like that. I'm gonna bring your hip down like this mm -hmm. and then push like that, okay? We're gonna push into here. Okay, nice and gentle. Take a deep breath in. Shoulders. Bring your back. Do you ever crack your own back? No, I'm not. I can't crack my own back. Okay. Like no one can crack my back I normally. Know. That was really good then. No, <clears throat> we're gonna bring this like this just a little bit. Good. Bend the top leg here. Bottom leg is straight. Good. Let's come up like this. This one to here. Okay. Same thing. You're gonna stretch your shoulders like that. We're gonna bring your hip down here. Good. We're gonna adjust right here on the SI. Good breathing, good and out. Let the shoulders relax, let the hips relax. Good. Let this come up, good. A little bit more. All right, this is how we check where the neck needs to be adjusted. Right, still short. Go and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Left. Center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center. Nice and gentle breathing.
nice, gentle. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Okay, nice, gentle sinking. Good, that one right there. Got shoulders sinking in, good. It's on, it's crazy. Squeeze. Okay. So uh, that's good. Next is the pyloric sphincter. This is empty too. Let's just feel. This is actually, you get bloated. A lot. Yeah. Why is it bloated? This is tense right here. Yep. Is, so that's what I was feeling. When you're on my back, that's what I felt the most. Your stomach. Okay. Okay, you know how to belly breathe? again. Keep going. See, when you use your diaphragm to breathe, when you belly breathe. It doesn't sound cool. like that. So you drank some water today? Yeah. Okay. I... We're going to work on the diaphragm now just to keep doing some gentle belly breathing. Okay, put your hands up. That's good right there. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay if I do that? Okay, I'm gonna go like this, and then this here. Okay, you're breathing. As you breathe out, we're gonna follow your breath like this, and at the end we pull like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Nice, gentle breathing. Just keep your teeth together. Good. Following the breath out. Follow. Follow the next one out. Good. Shoulders and hips sinking into the table, letting it all go. Ow. Shoulders and hips. Ow. Where? On my hip. Okay, breathe, breathe it out. Oh, thanks. Did you feel it in your low back? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, I feel better than I did when I first came. It's definitely better than when I walked in. Um, the, uh, usually, I have like really bad mobility in my neck, so the fact that I can like kind of look like an owl and turn my head around is good. Um, definitely feel it in my shoulders for sure, because like I said, I can't really, there's like always like really bad tension, like right here especially. Like I always feel this one the worst, but it's definitely way better than when I first came in. Like I could feel like that stinging pain. I don't feel it as much as I usually do. Like my body feels more relaxed because mm -hmm. I feel like I usually don't my body usually feels like really like tensed up mm -hmm. But it's not like tense anymore. The arms relax. Stand up nice and straight. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together as much as you can Good. Look up at the ceiling Good. Okay, squeeze your shoulder blades Okay, we're gonna bring the left shoulder down just a little bit. Good. But yeah, no, my body definitely feels different than when I first walked in.
Go like this, put your hands on your hips. All right, push your elbow back against me here. Push, push. Good, that relax. Left, right, do these feel the same or the one ten more tender than the other? The right side is more tender than the left side. Same, better, or worse? Um, they're the same. No, they're equally the same, or is the right one still more tender? I think they're equally the same now. Left, right, left, right. Do these feel the same or are they the equal? They're pretty equal. I felt that one. Oh, sink, 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 sink in. That was nice. That was sick. Okay, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the spine. This has gone to the left and it's like this. It's gentle. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. And good. 